Hello everybody and welcome to the Marvel Card Collectors Podcast, your weekly digest of hobby goodness, celebrating 200 episodes. Can I get a whoop whoop? Whoop whoop whoop. whoop, whoop, whoop. There we go. Lovely stuff. Thank you very much. Um, uh, so, so this week, so far, we have Keith and <laughs> Keith, for those on audio, you're missing a treat here because Keith is wearing the most alluring, alluring outfit I think I've seen in a long time. Um, we have Jason. Hello. Uh, we have so far we have two other special guests. We have the magnificent Michael Munshaw. Yeah, hello there, the Munshaw the Magnificent. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. That is that is your handle. I mean, I'm oh trying to gosh. rebrand you, Mike, but but uh, it's just I can just picture you. Have you seen the film The Prestige? No, I have not. You've not seen The Prestige? Never What's even heard of it. I don't even know it's, what it um, is. It's a Christopher Nolan film. Hugh Jackman, uh, Christian Bale, and it's about magicians. Turn of the century magicians. David Bowie's in it as as Tesla. Oh, huh. it's about magicians. So when huh. I say the magnificent Munshaw, huh. go and watch that film, and trust me, you'll thank me for it because it's Christopher. Nolan Aye, I'll put on my to do list. Um, yeah, on your on your many many things. I'm sure you've got to do. Uh, we have uh, we have we have two British people in the room. One of them's a bit shy. He's not showing his face. Uh, we have Carl Varney. Hey, how you doing? I'm all right, mate. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm you've good. got some stuff on the wall since we last spoke. Yeah, I finally found some some time to to yeah put some stuff on the wall. Nice, long, uh... nice. Um, and we've also got well, if if he's here, we've got Jake McManus. Retroverse is there somewhere possibly? Uh, and we have someone else dialing in oh, as well. As we think. So the whole the whole concept of today's episode is it's an open house. People are just going to drop in. Um, so if you're on audio, this could be massively confusing because suddenly you'll hear people speaking that you can't see um so if you're on video then you'll be able to watch and see all the joyous things that are happening um sid what's up good morning good morning oh my goodness me everyone's here this morning jake are you there or not i'm lost (laughs) (laughs) can you hear me well we can hear you yeah we can't see you I know. I don't know why. And that, now I've lost the box to find all your wonderful faces. You have to oh, click well. start video. You I've do. got you now. It's there okay. He is. It's okay. There he is. Oh, oh, there, there he is. is. There he is. Oh, we can see the top of his head anyway. What you got on? What you got on today? You said you were going to be in your pajamas. I, I am from the bottom down. If it, but you can't tell. Okay. All right. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, we have we have absolutely no fixed agenda for today, folks. So it's it's any kind of a topic, um, any questions you've got, um, anything you want to talk about. Um, but I guess the first thing is that we're, we're 200 episodes in. Um, do you remember your first episode? Anyone want to take that? Do you remember the first episode of this they heard? Oof. Everyone's kind of looking into the sky I and do. kind of thinking. I do. No, <laughs> I do. The Bianchi episode. That's what drew me in. Me, uh, Bianchi. Simone Bianchi, yep. Yeah. yeah. Good one. And I just thought, yeah, this is nuts. <laughs> and it was great to that I was new new to Marvel and it was like so what I did, I on purpose, I think I've said this before, I didn't listen to the podcast on purpose because I wanted to do my own research. I told you before, haven't I? Mm. I didn't want to all, know all the juicy bits. I didn't want to be gifted. Yeah. But when I saw the Bianchi, I thought, oh, I've got to listen to this because MM18 was one of the first sets I saw. And I was just like, oh, yeah, I've got to listen to this. And then, yeah, I just started listening after that, really, one after another and another and another. He hooked you. It, how to hook someone. Mike, you were on, you were on fairly early on, if I'm I'm trying to rack my brain because it was, it was towards the very beginning. Yeah. So I don't know if you guys were talking about Marvel Premiere 2018 or somewhere yeah. around there, because that's when I first found out about this community, mm. and that was my first set. 
and I'm it's it was around that time, but I can't remember the actual episode that you guys you know that I was like, oh yeah, this is my first one. Yeah, it, it was way back in the beginning. It was way back because I remember before before you were even on the podcast or before you'd done like an intro or anything like that, you messaged to say that you listened yeah. while you were drawing. And I think that was the first we kind of heard of you. You just yeah. randomly yeah. out of the blue, you just messaged us on Instagram, I think. Uh, and I was like, wow, that's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> There's someone listening. <laughs> so, you know, it's always, it's always, a, it's always a bonus that is. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it was the first one I listened to, but it was certainly very early on because I jumped in during Marvel Masterpieces 2020. So your first interview with Dave Palumbo probably was at least near the beginning of when I started listening. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dave, Dave's been on, Dave's been on a fair few times now, actually. Really? Yeah, he's a dude. I think Dave, I think Dave Palumbo's been on like four times now. He, 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 wow. He dropped me a message last year and said, "Do you want me to come on?" I was like, "Yeah, okay." We just came on and we just we just chatted. Um, it was really cool. Um, and we've got Andy Salazar there, but he's he's on mute at the moment. We can't see his face, but he's waiting in the wings. Uh, so I'm just going to say, "Hello, Andy." Everyone, say hello, Andy. Hello, hello Andy. Andy. Hello, Andy. What there up, Andy? There we go. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, <laughs> there he is. Working, <laughs> He's lurking. He's lurking in the background. Um, um, De depending on where it, or if Andy goes on camera, he has the OCD of collecting. I love the way he stores things and he collects just about everything I wish I could. Oh, wow. Okay. Appreciate it, man. Cool. All right. What do you collect, Andy? Because this is one of those things where there's going to be people who come on. Because anyone could come on, quite frankly. There's going to be people who come on who I've heard of, but I don't know as well as other people. So I've got no idea what, what sort of stuff you go for. Yeah, so um, quite a bit of the retro and then just whatever strikes my fancy uh, on the modern stuff. I can't, I don't dip my toe into everything modern because there's just so much yep. um, out there, especially on the new products. Mm -hmm. But I try to pick and choose what I really like and um i set collect so i don't have a character that i go after um but i just go after as complete a sets as i can afford okay yeah that's no well, you've got an extensive player. video game collection too right yeah yeah i have about two thousand physical games from the original nintendo to uh the modern consoles today nice nice that would be me about three or four years ago i had similar um uh, most of them have gone now um, but uh but yeah it was getting it was getting a bit bonkers there because they they take up a fair bit of room don't they they do they do yeah. they, i have a, a whole wall de dedicated to them just the one that's a big wall <laughs> it is a big wall that's a big wall <laughs> yeah um wowzers wowzers i've got a, que a question oh go ahead yeah do you ever play any of the games andy oh yeah absolutely I bring oh, down the system them? and spend about two weeks on it usually. And then um, back on the shelf it goes and another one comes down. So I'm always jumping between something retro and something modern. So do you play them on like one of today's TVs or an older TV? So you know, I do because have... Because of the pixels and that. Yeah, so I do have a CRT TV um, that yeah. I use yeah. mainly for light gun games. Uh, okay, but makes sense. Yeah, and then on the modern TV, I, I pretty much do use um, an OLED for everything, including the old retro stuff. But I have an upscaler that helps with the image, so it doesn't look so. Um, yeah, so blurred, it's quite so a bit, old. isn't it? We, me and my son used to collect PS One games, and uh, we found the same. We thought, oh, come on, we're going to get the PS One out, and then you put it on a fifty-inch screen TV, and it's like. Oh yeah, we'll go upstairs in one of the bedrooms on the smaller TV. And it's just a lot nicer. <laughs> yes, totally. Yep, that'll happen if you don't have something in between helping with that. Yeah, and we didn't. That's why I was asking. Yeah, that's great advice. That's all. Yeah, I tell you what, I I've got Jake. I don't know if they released them in America, but um, Sony brought out a PlayStation Two TV, Sony Bravia. Um, oh, they did, and didn't it was they? only yeah. available via Richard Sounds in the UK. Um, I remember, and, it's, yeah. and it's gorgeous. It's right next to me here. Um, and it's got a PS2 in the base. Um, oh, and wow. it's, it's, it's not a big screen. I'd say it's 22, mm -hmm. 24 inch tops. Um, 
but it's 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 perfect because it's just at that point where you have started having flat screens but you still have the old systems so on the back it's got hdmi but it's also got like the uh component and scar so it's perfect for kind of um putting different systems into super cool oh, yeah. so those are got to be pretty yeah. rare they were they mean make your sounds but make your sounds it's just like I go all the time. I buy all my TV stuff in the cinema and surround stuff in there. Mm. There might be like 30 in the UK, something like that. Maybe more, Ian, but I think there's more. weren't even as yeah. big then. Yeah. Well, they're not They're not huge, are they, as in a franchise? They're not like ridiculous. Oh, yeah. They're, no, they're not franchised. They're all kind of... Um... So Richard Sounds, for those who don't know, is a UK um, kind of TV hi-fi um, store. Um, and it's, yeah. it's, it's founded by a guy called Julian Richer. <laughs> that's actually his surname um and he's still very much kind kind of in it you know and they're really they're really they've got listening rooms we can go and try stuff out and now it's kind of all tv so you know viewing rooms as well it's pretty cool i guess pretty that'd cool. be like the whiz over here back in the day okay crazy eddie his prices are insane <laughs> crazy eddie <laughs> <laughs> crazy Eddie. He's crazy Eddie. Uh, and is he coming on this podcast? <laughs> Only old people understand that. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Old people in America. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Jason, when did you, because obviously, obviously you're, you're part of the team now. Um, right. Technically speaking, so is Mike. Because can I just get a little round of applause for Mike for the wonderful podcast graphics he's done for this kind of version two of the MCC pod? Cause Legend. I, I, uh, I'm eternally grateful to you, Mike, for that help. So oh, no you. problem. It was fun. It was fun uh, to work on. So uh, uh, J- there's another Jason coming on. So I'm going to speak to the existing Jason Mark and I. Jason, w- when did you first? Uh, what was your first episode that you remember hearing? Uh, so probably the episode I was on, um, fifty five, fifty four, something Somewhere like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. don't say that, Jason. Come on, you've got to at least tell a few lies. And, say no, uh, I was a huge fan. <laughs> Yeah, no, and uh, that actually, I haven't listened to an episode since. Um, no, I'm just kidding, but yeah, I think it was uh, probably that, and then I went back in time and and uh, listened to some some more and uh, kept kept up with it until um, you know I'm here now. So, in other words, if Jason isn't on, Jason doesn't listen. That's pretty much. Ex- that's ex- I mean, oh, it's all. It's all. It's all. <laughs> it's all about me. Yeah. Yeah. Just Legend. like you, Jake. I know. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> it's not only me. <laughs> oh dear me, Carl. As a fellow Englishman, there's three Englishmen on this call. This is like a third English. It's probably the the most English we've had on this podcast for well since the last time you were on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> My family's English. Oh, well, oh, yeah, like that's my right. grandmother. That my before. grandmother was born in England, so yeah, okay, all right. My great, my great grandfather was German. I don't know why I said that. It just randomly <laughs> popped into my head. I never met him, obviously. Um, Carl, you first time I I encountered Carl, he bought some cards off me. I did. Uh, masterpieces '94 gold holofoils or bronze. I think they were the bronze holo foils, oh, actually. Bronze, weren't they? It's when I was having the purge. I was yeah, you just, my parallels. You decided that um, you weren't going to go for the for the set. Well, no, I, I had the set. It was. Just, I decided I wasn't going to keep all the parallels because I had too many cards. So I was just <laughs> thought I only need one. I only need one version of the card of, of the card with this art on. I don't need like three of them. And good, good grief! Can you imagine now, uh, Andy? If you're a set collector, have you seen the Marvel Platinum checklist? Yes, and I'm staying far, far away. <laughs> <laughs> well, we did an episode. You'll by the time by the time this airs, you'll have heard it. But weirdly, as we record, we only recorded it last night. We did an episode last night with um, uh, Grant and TJ from Upper Deck talking all about Marvel Platinum. Um, and uh, yeah, Grant Grant kind of. You know, we were a little bit skeptical about the size of the checklist, but Grant, in his inimitable fashion, talked us talked us round, and so yeah, we kind yeah, of personally, I'm I'm pretty excited from. about it. I mm. think that it's going to be a blast to open because yeah. every pack's going to have 
just tons of different parallels in it. And that's the thing. That's the and, thing. It's just going to be really fun to open. And if you're a character collector and, you know, it's it's the first time we've had this many parallels, obviously, but it might be a fun chase. Like, like when you complete that, you're going to feel really good about it. You know, maybe not yeah. all at once, but otherwise, like, it's going to be a pretty cool accomplishment. Um, so I, I, I'm pretty excited about it and original art anything original art i'm yeah. excited about anyway so yeah no it's, mm -hmm. it's gonna be cool and we saw we saw an awful lot of art uh, last night and you know grant had some of the cards in hand as well so he yeah, was sharing, us, sharing us stuff so. you know one of my takeaways i don't know how much we can but he it's a big set on purpose it's something that he wants us to take our time with basically you know Fleer retro is something people got in and out of this is something that is going to be a little bit of a process for everyone to get everything if they want everything. And hopefully it's fun getting there too. Back to collecting and trading. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be a hoot. It's going to be a hoot. Yeah. We've, got enough, we've got another Jason jumped on. Too. Oh, yeah. There's going to be blasters. Yeah. The other Jason, uh, J other Jason, I can't even attempt your surname, I'm afraid. Uh, Nagi, maybe? Nagi? Don't know. I think he's shy. Other Jason isn't talking to us just yet. He's lurking. He's lurking. That's fine, Jason. You just you just stay there. We'll be here when you're ready. We'll be here when you're ready. <laughs> oh, um, therapy session, Ian. Come on. What's that? It isn't a therapy session. We're going to be here when you're well, ready. Well, you know, it, it, it might turn into one. I think there's <laughs> That's time what yet. I'm wondering. I think yeah, there's time is yet. Is it coming to that? Yeah, it it's is coming to that. Hey, and talking about the podcast, yeah. one, for you, one for you, obviously... Mm -hmm. I got into um, collecting around um, Masterpieces 20. Yeah. So I, I can't, I tried, I looked on my phone to see if I could find the first podcast and I can't find it. But I've gone back and listened to quite a lot of the podcasts that you did, specifically the ones with the artists. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so obviously I missed a lot of the sets that you, you talked about that I haven't collected. Um that were sort of before masterpieces, but what what are the what are the podcasts that stand out for you personally? Uh, without question, Greg Hildebrand, um, simply because he did this incredible James Mason impression about <laughs> ten minutes into the podcast, and he he yeah. did a whole whole speech from I can't remember which movie it was now. Uh, the reason I say that is it, 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 you'd only have seen, you'd only have heard that, but we saw it, and I've still got the video actually, um, and 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 I have got the blessing from from Greg and Gene to release the video onto the YouTube because the videos all exist of those earlier episodes before they were oh, okay. Um, because uh, my goodness me, he he didn't just do James Mason, he channeled the spirit of James Mason, and he was coming towards the camera as he was doing it. And it's like properly, like, you know, yeah, it was just hilarious. But just, yeah, probably that one for that moment um, amongst the fact, but, you know, obviously it's Greg Hildebrand, so it's, it's pretty bonkers. Um, and I think probably the first episode that Michael Munchall was on. Oh, dear. <laughs> definitely stands out for me. That is... No. Right. Whatever. <laughs> no, he's lying. He's I'm lying. not lying. I'm not lying. He's lying like a rug. I'm not lying <laughs> like a rug. Wonderful expression, that is. Um, uh, Mike, what are you working on at the moment? I mean, are you actually drawing as we, as we, as we speak? No, Carl art? just gave me an idea, and now ah. I'm on my phone scrolling. Oh, okay. To see my list of two hundred podcasts. Oh, wow. And okay. which ones I actually listened to ah. to try to figure out what my first one was. So ah. this is all Carl's fault. Oh, but, right. um, yeah. You're doing I can't research. tell you what I'm working on. Come on, oh, okay. it's still terrible. <laughs> I can so, tell you, I'm so not that... working on tops anymore. How about that? That oh, we're done. Yeah. So, oh, wow. It's not a tops thing. So yeah. But oh, the so first top... episode I listened to here, it says was Marvel Masterpieces 1992 and 2016 and it doesn't have an episode number is that oh, the third early. one yeah that's an early that's number three I think in which we talk about Marvel Masterpieces 1992 20 sounds right sounds right Joe to me Jesco. yeah sounds right yeah I mean it's a lot of scrolling 
I mean, good grief. Yeah. I mean, so, I but thank started. you, Carl, for making me go down that rabbit hole and look all that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, but he's been scrolling on that for about. But 10 thank minutes. you, Apple iPod or iTunes for having that history. But anyway, yeah. so yes, episode three, twenty fifth of June, twenty nineteen. Yep. Wow. Um, nice one. That's been played five hundred and twenty two times. Um, that's so, yeah. that's five hundred and twenty one by Michael. By the way. <laughs> no, no, that would be the episode Michael was on, probably. Um, <laughs> but um, the uh, Jul- Julian Boris episodes certainly one of my favorites for sure. Oh, the Julian Boris one, the Julian Boris one. It's like, yeah, that was fun. Yeah, I, I, I tell you one of the, one of the interesting things we we didn't do we didn't do uh, interviews for. Oh, other Jason has gone. Other Jason, we scared, we scared him off. Mm-hmm. Other Jason, I I love you dearly. Come back when you're ready. Um, there can only be one. <laughs> Jason, did I give you control of the mute button? Have you constantly kept him on mute? And no, so he no, got no. fed up. With I don't. Trying to I don't know himself. that. I don't know that much about Zoom. You don't have that power. Okay. Um, the um, uh, interesting po- podcast tidbit. Then, so the first interview. The, uh, I'm going to say we here. I'm going to talk about Norin or Fausto, as I think he's, everyone knows him. See, when when Norin and I started this, he he, he didn't have his like his own name out there because he didn't want you know he wanted that pseudonym, he wanted that separation. But now, of course, you know it's like he's Fausto or he's Sketch or he's Norin, you know whatever people call him, all sorts. But um, we the first interview that we did was. Dave DeVries and Dave completely like carried us I'd say on that one because you know we'd not done it before and Dave was absolutely cool in the gang um but then we did one with a with a sketch card artist a few months later and it was it was so bad we never released it um mainly because um not because the not no disrespect to this artist and i'm not going to say this artist's name but no disrespect to that artist but the, the the signal was so bad that it was just like painful trying to trying to have any kind of conversation because it just kept dropping out um so in the in the end we 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 we, we canned it we were like there's nothing there's nothing salvageable to release so that put us off like having anyone else on the podcast for like a good six to nine months we just were just like no i'm not going to do that again <laughs> so by the time we got to boris and julia i think we'd had maybe two or three other collectors on and then we had peter scanlon and then it was boris and julie so we were kind of still a bit like still a bit green at that point i'd say um plus it's boris and julie so you're a little bit like ah um but um but no that was a good time that was a good time they're lovely lovely people um i don't know if have you ever met them at any cons has anyone met Boris? i have yeah every every year i go to uh elixcon in reading pa um and they're there every, they've been there every year since it started i think 16 wow. 17 years something like that and and uh dave palumbo is always there um um greg hildebrandt is there you know, once every three years or so, mm. on average, uh, Jeff Easley's there, Bob Eggleton's there. So lots and lots and lots of Marvel uh, wow. card artists. Uh, what time um, of year is that? Uh, it's every October. Um, it's within my striking range. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I I, I volunteer there um, and I drive in every day. That's how close I am. <laughs> so. Wow. Okay. It's the it's the best show it, because it's not like um you know you go to a comic show and like the artist is behind the table and you're getting a big line. To, it's not like that. You just go and talk to the artist for an hour if you want at the show. It's not it's not like a they're not selling anything. I mean maybe their original art, maybe maybe a book or some some prints, but in general they're there just to show their art and have a good time with their art friends. <laughs> so nice. It's a it's a, an amazing show. That does sound pretty cool. Sold. I like I like the way you say within striking distance. I mean, I'm you're sold. on the continental U- United States of America, so yeah. I guess most of those shows are within easier striking distance. Than I can pull it off in a day, though. Well, you, well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't cool. know, Ian. You're closer to that show than people in California, so 
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> We're no, pretty close. It's no, about the no, same. No. It's, 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 it's a seven and a half, eight, eight hour flight for me to get to that one. I don't think it's that far. Because you're, you're going it? west. Well, yeah. yeah I mean, if you, <laughs> if you were, if you guys were going to recommend um, cons for for us to come over to, which would there be like a group of like three or four in a row that you could hit? Road trip. Yeah. That, uh, <laughs> Uh, he Heroes Con in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, it's been a while since I've been, but that one is um, totally artist focus. Um, it's run by a local store in Charlotte, a small small comic store store called Heroes. Aren't hard to find. Um, they've been doing it for a little over forty years uh, in the convention center. And there's always big names in the comic book industry and a lot of, you know, they have a big artist alley with, with, you know, just, it's just loaded with art um, and comic writers. And so it's, it's, fo it's basically focused on the art. There's not really any celebrities or anything like that. And it's a, what pretty, kind of it's year a decent that? size show. It's in June, kind of middle, middle of June. Yeah. So you have um, o OAX in January. Uh <laughs> Which obviously I, I didn't go to that this year, but it was you know looked like a really great show for people who enjoy art. Um, and then yeah, you have Heroes Con in June, then and then you have uh, IX in October. So they're all kind of spread out as far as the like. I think those are probably yeah. the three biggest like. Well, New York is right behind. Is I was going to say if you yeah. were going to group it, group it in the you fall. Do New York and IX, and you got IX. You have Baltimore Comic Con. You have New York Comic Con yeah. right on top of each other. That yeah. if you Bal wanted to hit Baltimore's a bunch a, in Baltimore's that a October area, that that would be the time to do it. Then, okay. but I think what Sydney's saying is that that's a more intimate setting. The IX versus the New York Comic Con and the Baltimore; those are big shows. Yeah, yeah. right. New York's a media show, not a. <laughs> comic show anymore but yeah <laughs> that's not, that's fine if you're into that and like that i mean that's, well i say it's new a great York show to go because to because if you're a card collector you know tops does show up um there is some card stuff the upper deck was there last year i think too i've got to pick on the background sid i'm gonna make you big on the screen please don't yep. get please don't feel um victimized in any way is that ariel olivetti Ghost Rider exquisite Ghost Rider. original art it, behind you. Yes, it, it is. It is, though it's technically a repaint. He did them all digitally and then repainted them all. But I mean, right. when you look at that thing up close and look at it next to the card, you cannot see a difference. Yeah, between yeah, the two yeah, of them. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, does it? I've said this before. What no. it do? It takes zero away from the art. It makes no. Mm. It yeah, it's not as good of a historical story. So maybe you could argue it wouldn't be as much in dollars, but the art yeah, is what the awesome. art is. Yeah. And it makes no difference. It's a ridiculous it? it's the artist. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, of course, yeah. Just for those who don't know what we're talking about, so Ariel Olivetti for Marvel Gems in 2015? 15. 15, there we yeah. go. Um, he did the Exquisite set. So it's the first time the Exquisite brand had been in a Marvel set. Um, and it was original art and they're, they're gorgeous cards. Um and he did the original art for them. Now he did he did the original art in um black and white. So the pencils. Yeah. Actually and I think he just drew I think these are the pencils and he did the painting over the pen. The yeah, well pencils, that's so. that's the thing. So yeah. So at the time he did them in pencils and then he um scanned them in and then he finished them digitally. So the colored versions that are on the cards are um physical pencils and then digital coloring. Um, what he did when he sold them last year. Yeah, it was last year, um, 2023. He, you had the option of whether you could buy the pencils as they were, or you could pay more and he would actually physically color it. So, um, so I, I, I got black cat and I just got the pencils as were, um, but I didn't choose to get mine, mine colored, um, and I, I kind of prefer it like that, but it sounds to me like you, you, you got the, you got him to paint it. Yeah, I actually got this from someone else. They had had it done, but oh, no, uh, it's yeah, still, it's still pretty good. Now, yeah. f fun fact: uh, he only did this once, but he, um, he did do a second painted copy of each, if if those people want it, because he he'd he'd had the pencils scanned in, 
Um, so he, there are, um, there are. He, he did a second copy. I don't know if he did it for every character, but he did do a second copy that wasn't with the original pencils. It was a, a printed out um, copy of the original pencils, and he paint he painted over that as well. Um, but after that, I don't think he's, he's doing any more because um, obviously he could, he could keep going doing that, and who knows which is the original? And which it would is never the, end. Yeah, it would never end. No. So. Um, but no, they're gorgeous pieces, and it was—they were really. Um, uh, I he hesitate to say the word fair, but they were very fairly priced. Absolutely. The reason I hesitate to say it is because I'm sure someone will throw a rock at me. It's like, it's like it's fair. no, I mean they're better than most convention sketches, yeah. like from big artists, yeah, and they co it costs the same as as yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, you know? they're really nice. They're really nice. Um, Mike, you do quite a lot of shows kind of fairly local to you don't yeah, you yeah I, I have this year i'm cutting way back um oh. so a lot of the, how do i do this diplomatically a lot of the shows that i was going to i don't have think they're moved, i don't think they're listening so you're okay yeah they spill probably it, don't it. anyway they've <laughs> moved away from spill it they've moved Come away on. from comic art and comic artists and comics you know, like they call it a Comic Con, but I bet you there's only two or three vendors that actually yeah. bring the long boxes right. and put them out and stuff. It's much more uh, anime and video game and cosplay and driven. Pop culture. And, you know, when I sat down after last season and looked at the books and just looked at the different shows and stuff. And at the same time, COVID really got people to buy online a lot easier. And I can almost do better staying home on a weekend, drawing something and putting it up online for sale mm -hmm. than going to a convention with all the costs that are associated with the conventions and stuff. So lugging everything out there. Yeah. yeah. So this year I'm definitely cutting back. I think I'm only doing maybe four shows this year oh, okay. where previous years it's probably been eight, 10, something like that. But yeah. <clears throat> it's just, you know, things have changed, you know, and as a con organizer, you do what you want to do to sell tickets. And if anime, video games, cosplay, if that's selling tickets and getting people in the door, well, then good for you. You know, yeah. those type of people just don't care about the work that I do or the things that I draw. So that's just, you know, that's just the fact of life. So, you know, I can do better marketing online and finding people that way that, you know, enjoy my work or want to buy it that way. So mm. it's, it'll just be a couple of big shows this year and that'll be it for me. Mm. So I, I was going to say, I, I was opening up Instagram almost every it, it felt like almost every week I was seeing you with your banner. It wasn't that yeah. bad, but well, no, <laughs> but I bet but you though, it, it got to a point where I was like, I was like he's month. out and about a lot. And that's what, yeah, I bet like. you at least once a month I was doing a show yeah. or I was somewhere along the East Coast here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't you have a car? Was there a car incident on one of the shows recently? It was a car incident, uh, Ocean City Comic Con. My wife bought a brand new RAV4, first new car she had bought in ages. I think we had it a whole two weeks or so. Oh. And then we were about a mile and a half from the hotel when a deer decided it needed to be standing in the middle of the road. So that was great. That was fun. So it, I was shocked. You know, the car was, we could, it was done. Um, but the, the state trooper was, was like, well, where are you going? And I was like, well, <laughs> yeah. we got to go to a hotel. We're only a mile and a half away from here and stuff like that. And he's like, oh, I'll give you a ride over there if you don't want to get an Uber. And I was like, really? And he goes, yeah, I'll give you a ride. And I said, but I got, there's some stuff that in the car I need to get over to the hotel. And he's like, oh no, I'll help you. I'll help you. And we pop open the back of the RAV4 and he's like, oh, you got a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. And I was like, I told you, I was like, we're headed to Comic-Con. So we only took about half of it. I felt guilty as we were trying to move all of his stuff around and put the con stuff. But he couldn't have been nicer getting us over to the hotel and wow. getting at least half my con stuff over there. You see, you wouldn't have stories like that, Mike. If you, if I, you... You're right. You yeah. are 100% correct about that. But I also had a wife in tears in mm. the park at a Wawa looking at her destroyed brand new car and... Yeah, no, no one's spe no one spares a thought for the deer in all of this. Did yeah. you did you um did you stick it in the freezer? Did you live on venison for a few months? No, the the deer the he was long, he was after he bounced off of our car. I believe he had the joy of being bounced by other cars. I think he was like a little oh, pinball okay. going down the road. Oof. 
Okay. Yeah, it was not pretty. Not no, pretty. No. Oh well, I'm sure. Listen, I'm sure that deer could have quite happily fed a family of four in Mozambique for a good month. Um, Andy, do you go to to many shows? No, not as many as I'd like. Um, I've been to way more video game conventions than I have been to card and comic conventions. Just little local shows here in Houston, Texas. Um, I've been to, but nothing that I've had to travel for. Oh, okay. I was going to ask where you were. So, no, yeah, it is early there with you. I, I just suddenly occurred to me, it's probably still dark, which is why we can't see you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh, I'll switch over from my phone to the No, computer. you don't have to. You don't have to. I'm only pulling the link. Um, but... Um, but yeah, no. So uh, Houston. So we got we got someone like kind of halfway across America. This is pretty good. No one from the West Coast yet. I think it's probably still a bit early for them. Yeah, I've I've yeah. been reliably informed we're expecting at least one West Coast guest at some point during the next hour or so. So who knows? Um, so Sydney, what's yeah. that X Men number one graded at? Two O. Oh wow, that's cool. And I have the giant size X Men is a nine O. Oh, what? Bringer. is it? <laughs> oh, who? Is that Hulk on, 181 show. as well? Uh, Hulk one to it. nine four nine four. You want to nice. see him? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Awesome. Let's have a look. If I can, let's see. Oh, look at that! It's in a cabinet as well. Oh yeah. Today's episode is going to be called Comics with Sid. <laughs> I'm happy with Comics with Sid. All right, there's. Oh, that's nice. Whoa, nice. Such a nice cover. So cool. It is. Beautiful yeah. book. Nice. Oh. oh, you've got those bumpers on. I got the bumpers. Although it doesn't really work on this book. I had to like cut the back of it off because they don't fit the, the thick one. Yeah, the it's thick a thick book. one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But I still got it to look. And then this I got. I actually got this raw as a 9 4. And it graded wow. a 9 4. Mm -hmm. Um, and I never had it pressed or cleaned or anything like that, so it could potentially even be better than that. Very nice, no, wow. very nice. Great. But That's this a is, great grade for that. Book. Yeah, this is one I'm not ever. I mean, this I'm a Hulk guy. I mean, Wolverine guy, so I'm this is yeah. ever going away. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Wow, that's some nice stuff there. Um, Jason, you you you're into your comics, aren't you? Quite a lot. You've you've been getting quite a lot of sketch covers and things like that going on. Uh, yes. Um, I, I did. I kind of took a break on that, but yeah, I, I got a bunch of sketch covers back. Um, I was probably between 2015 and 2018. I was going to a con a month or every other month and was really into the sketch covers. Um, I do have a, in front of me, I will show off some Mike Munshaw. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Girl. Hang on. Keep it up there. Let me put this big on the screen. There we go. Oh, that's very cool. nice. On very nice. Ah, uh, yeah. Marvel, uh, uh, collectors cardstock, but I love yeah. that. I love black and white. No, it's not. Yeah, I do. I do too. But yeah, I really, I love this. Uh, I dabble every now and then in Spider Man twenty ninety nine. Um, I think that's the one and only time I've ever drawn that character. So look at that. Wow. That's a oh, one yeah. of one. It's oh, a one there of you one. go. <laughs> yeah, a true one of one that is. Doesn't get any more one of um, one than that. <laughs> oh, Justine's fifteen Pro Max is connecting to audio. Who's this going to be? Who are we going to have today? You know, I feel, I feel, I feel the need to do a giveaway in a moment for the assembled masses. Now that we've reached, hey, hey Justin. Oh, what and Andy's up, face as well. Look at this. Hey, Justin, how are you? I am well. I'm. I'll have breakfast. Oh, what time awesome. is it where you are? It is. 8.43 a.m. 8.40. Oh, well done. Well done for being up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got my coffee with me. And, Good. You know, we're Louisiana, so you got to have hot sauce with you at all times. Really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're not at home. Are you at home or are you out? I'm out. I'm at a, I'm at a cafe. Oh, okay. Doing, a, doing a little work. Oh, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh well, the the party started. So we got we got six people on this podcast now. So I feel the need. Oh, that is awesome. I feel the need to do a little giveaway. So I'm going to ask you, folks. Uh, this is Mike, Carl, Sid, Justin, Andy, Retroverse, Jake. So there's six of you. Okay. I want each of you to pick a number between one one to six. 
No, hang on. That no, while I'm at the top. No, hang on a minute. I've, I'm, I'm doing. I've, I've given this to no all pick the same number. I've given this no. no, no. You're just going right. to go down the list and give a number and can you, can't you pick tell? The same number. Can you tell? You know what? It, uh oh. Screw, screw now that. Now there's seven. I, ignore what I just said. I'm very quickly going to put them into the weird of names.com. So, so we got Justin. We got Jake. We have Mike. This is going to be funny, Mike, if you win something that you drew. Um, <laughs> yeah, that, that, <laughs> that would be absolutely We need to send hilarious. that to Jake up the road. And Jake yeah, can. exactly. Yeah. Uh, we have I'll Carl take care of it. and we have Andy. Right. Has anyone else popped onto the Zoom in the meantime? While I've done... Oh, no, we've got someone else. Yeah, yeah. I said you got seven no, now. No, now. Now you're giving something away. Everyone's no, that's gonna, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Typical. They smell blood in the water, and there they are. Um, <laughs> um, I, I think I think I think his first name is Pete, if I remember correctly. Yep, that's it. That's it. There we go. TC Wallets and more. TC Wallets and more. Right. Hang on a minute. Weird of names. Here we go. So we've got seven people here. So uh, I'm going to share my screen. This is all going so well. Justin, you can tell I never do this stuff. I know you do it every five minutes. But, uh, it's right, always fun live. Yeah, I can't yeah. stop looking at Keith's glasses. I'm sure that's already been a topic of conversation. Oh, Keith's glasses <laughs> are absolutely amazing. Right. So the weird of names. Weird of names. It's brilliant. Where's I've my name? This before in my life. <laughs> you missed me. <laughs> Sid, hang on a minute. <laughs> you need one shot there. Hang on a minute. No, Let's have not. a look. All right, Justin, my Andy said. No, oh, Andy's on there twice. Bloody oh, well spotted. Wow. Andy, Andy, come on. Oh, right, we're going to give it a click. Here we go. Hey, Ian, you're not doing oh. it right until you cancel a stream at the moment of your biggest giveaway, which is what I did one time. Uh, oh, <laughs> right, right. Everyone's going to think. On. Everyone's going to think this is a fix, but no, it's not. It's yes. Jake. Because simply because it'll, 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 say, it'll save me. Congratulations, shipping. sir. So, so Jake, yes, sir. Jake, I would like you Too to bad. pick. A number between one and six. I have six items here. Three. 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 Now you are going to win. Come on. When it opens. Drum roll, please, someone. Yes. This is my, 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 my shit ass computer. Oh, bloody hell. Hurry up. <laughs> yeah, Take that's it. all right. I like that. Oh, it's it's going to be Christmas by the time we figure out. <laughs> oh, wow. You've won. <laughs> Oh wow! Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Look at that. That's Look at that's that. that's 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 a bit special. So that's a oh, dual um, sketch puzzle uh, by I think that's Jessica Hickman from Masterpieces 2008, um, and that's that's Black Cat. That's um, amazing. That Thank was you. that was gifted to me by a very good friend um a couple of years ago and um i decided to pass it on because i'm i'm less of a, a sketch puzzle uh collector um than others so it, i thought that would go to a good cause so well done Jake. is that because it, is that because of your it doesn't go in the binder well is that why but, yeah i've just never i it, it's it's partly that but it's also partly because i've um i'm very much not someone who let me rephrase this. I think for me, the medium is a single piece. Maybe, I think once okay. I think once you yeah. put multiple pieces in, in play, it's mm -hmm. it it feels like you're kind of not cheating the concept, maybe breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> maybe that's the best metaphor to use. <laughs> I don't know. It just doesn't feel um like it's a, a you know, a sketch card is uh, so for me is a single piece. So sketch puzzles, yeah. I just can't I just I've just you, never what, gotten on. How do you feel how do you feel about booklets? That's what I was just going to ask. Well, they're joined together. Yeah, yeah. So they're you're okay together. with that? Yeah, I am okay. I mean, I, yeah, yeah. For, for more, the, more for okay the storage reason, um, they're less <laughs> ideal. But, um, but yeah. So there you go, Jake. I'm just going to delete number three from my um, from my folder. Does that, so yeah, does that even do cheer one. Jake up, or is he still kind of you know? Sour. Oh, I'm stunned. <laughs> oh, there it is. He's got a smile. And <laughs> so, I, mean, I, I, I finally got a reason um, to post you all the stuff I've got here for you. <laughs> yeah, it should be a big box too. <laughs> yeah, well, I've got that Fleer Ultra X Men binder sat it right here. Shit, yeah, um, yeah where is about it? that. In fact, oh, no, I didn't. Forget... It's just been sat here. So this, don't... this is this is on its way to you, Jake. Don't forget the blade, the blade Runner comic. The Blade Runner comic that set aside. I've Don't got some X twenty threes that you probably forgot you even had. And in here, probably, 
as well. You've got Fleer Ultra X Men twi- uh, 95. You've got most of 94 in there. So, yeah, that's yeah, a binder packed with X Men goodness. Um, Good gentleman. Which you didn't win on this podcast. Um, it was something I was supposed to send you last year. Um, that's how. Oh, shit. Thinking of last year. Oh, come on. I, I Kyle, no sorry. What getting. What's this? Kyle's Flair Ultra Avenger cards I keep forgetting to send. Who's oh, that, Carl? They're, they're Carl. mine. They're mine. It's oh, when, we got the, <laughs> when we got all the blasters sent over from PJ, oh, and God. um, and yeah, that was that was really where my post was going on Facebook the other day about blasters to see whether or not it was going to be something they continued with because that was um, that's quite yeah. a good way of us getting yeah. hold of stuff to rip. Yeah, there, there's going to be platinum ones. Okay. Oh, those will be nice. Platinum's going to have, and they're going to be, uh, I think you said five cards a pack, four packs of blaster. And everything's got a blue. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they're going to put those in retail? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Hey, and Ian, you know, looking at the odds in the checklist, you know, it specifically says like orange out of 33 is hobby. Does that mean the other number cards can be in blasters? Yeah. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. I think he said it was it was a lot more um, fair game um, across the two skews. Wow. Um, Jason's hey, happy because Jason's oh, got a Barnes and Noble in his building, pretty much, and he can go down there in his pajamas and get them. Yes, <laughs> I just wander well, down the road. Yeah. <laughs> hey, gentlemen, I'm going to run. Uh, keep the great episodes coming. Thanks for popping uh, in, awesome Justin. Be able to jump in. And, uh, we appreciate you. you. Thank appreciate you, sir. You all. No yeah, worries. Have a blessed day. You. Enjoy your coffee, Thank you. Justin. Bye bye. Thanks, Thanks Justin. Thanks. Speaking, speaking of things that that uh that I owe people from last year, I still have uh, a stack of Ed Webb business cards to send to Donnie to send to Ian. Oh, I got the <laughs> promos though. No, no, hang on. I think you no, did send I got, them. I got more. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> I, I can't wait. Sorry. For those who don't know, so Ed Webb is Sci-Fi Cards. Yeah, one of the best independent mm-hmm. dealers. I think he's one of the only dependent dealers that's still. Well, I mean, there are others that do non-sports, but, um, and he, um, for years, he's had artists do drawings of the head alien, which is Ed, basically. Um, and he does promo cards. So he's up to 50, 60 now, at least, if not more. I'm looking at you, Sid. I don't know if you remember what numbers they are. I have no idea. I have a feeling I saw (laughs) P67. And he usually brings out a few each year and they're available at the main show. So he always does the Philly non sport card show. That's where I go. Um, Although that's a schlep for him because he's on the other side of the country and he literally drives across country. I have a feeling he said he was going to stop doing them. (laughs) Yeah, last the last one which I was at, he did Uh, say that was his last one uh, that was coming out. And they're they are gorgeous. Gorgeous that's promo. I, that's where I met Michael at the, at oh, the well, non-Philly sports card show. <laughs> not met Michael. <laughs> yeah. Me. Nope. Um, everyone has. I How are you? <laughs> I have not. Well, um, Pete, how you doing? I'm good. Just getting ready for the day. You know, figured I'd finally stop on and trying to get some work done before I actually go to work. So work, work on your work on your wallets. Yeah, I work on some new wallet stuff that I'm trying to get done for new shows coming out. I got about eight this year, so wow. We'll okay. see how that goes. That's more than Munchal. Munchal's just told <laughs> us he's knocking it down to four. <laughs> My goal is to go up. I had four last year, so I'm hoping to go eight this year. So oh, there you go. You can take Michael's table. He won't be using. Yeah, it, so. yeah. He, he might make a lot more money than me, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> just um, just watch out for Diaz. Oh yeah, yeah. You will catch that on the well, replay. Um, you'll have to go back and watch that. <laughs> you'll have to go back and watch <laughs> Definitely, and always that. do, guys. I love yeah, your yeah, show yeah. so much. Oh, bless you. Thank you for coming on, mate. I really appreciate it. Um, I was going to ask a very, very important question there. That's what I was going to ask. So, Mike, I've alluded to this, but I haven't. I I haven't directly emailed you about it yet, simply because um, I'm I, I keep forgetting and I'm just crap. Michael, would you be happy to design some Marvel Car Collectors podcast sketch stock? Yeah, I thought we already talked about that. I don't think we talked about it properly. Uh-huh. I think we just kind informal. of informal, but yeah, I thought we, that was already it, you know, social media. No, I just thought just, no. The reason I bring it, it up film now was to make was sure. Just, yeah, the reason. Well, yeah, basically, I've got it on <laughs> film. 
that he's <laughs> he's agreed to do it. Um, <laughs> but it kind of it kind of occurs to me that it's about time we got some out there because that MCCW stock that Jalen Warner, who uh, God bless him, where is he today? Um, I tried. He's not answering. Gordon Wills gave some lame excuse that he's got to take his kid to a track meet and dre <laughs> some worked. lame so excuse i've been trying to get them to show up dre yeah, said he might but gordon said family comes first for some reason I yeah oh, no that's that that Ooh. old chestnut no no it's a load of shit but yeah i don't know where um, jay is he's probably <laughs> sleeping he probably stayed up all night painting yeah he probably is he bed. probably is um he um uh what was i gonna say um yeah he did the first round of mccw yep. stock um and um but that's that's there's gonna be no more of that because obviously yeah i still have a few of those blanks sitting around here Ah, but yeah no we definitely need to do yeah we'll get some so the idea is that uh we'll get some done and they will go to any artist for free who has worked on a marvel set and that artist can then draw on them and charge whatever they want so it's kind of yeah the idea is it's kind of our way of giving back a little bit and you know hopefully you can make a few quid on them and i I know um who's been doing a lot on them recently jason montoya has been doing a load rio owens did some mike you obviously did some uh Mm -hmm. i've seen Dre always does dre always does some some didn't we even see uh, a a ron lynn surfer on mental con didn't dre sell a surfer uh, yeah, on possibly. The, yeah, stock. yeah. It so was Ron on Lim, stock as well. There was, so, yeah, there was someone in the group who left the group um, for for reasons who I need to reach out for actually, just to see if I can kind of bring him back into the fold. Uh, who knows Ron Lim? So he took a load and he okay. he he kind of said, okay, I can uh, I can ask Ron to do some. Um, mm. And basically, we had, we we had a whole chat group going. I think about 30, 40 collectors ended up doing it um and and then at one of the new york comic cons i uh, ran into peter scanlon and i gave Mm. him five or six and i said draw on these these will be gold and he was just like "Eh, will people want them and i was like (laughs) yeah but i haven't seen him do anything but he's got a couple of blanks in his oh well that's nice that's nice how you doing wesley i made it sorry hey Sorry, guys. Did 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 I read? Uh, you've sent messages, but I haven't read them. If you, did, you get called into work. Yeah. So the guy that was covering me today this morning uh, got sick, so I had to hurry up and get ready and come in. Oh, okay. All right. Does he want to come on? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's sick. He doesn't want to come on. He's sick. Yeah, well, I believe he's not that. doing anything now. He's home doing nothing. Yeah, <laughs> he's chilling. I'm, I'm gonna make him pay. I'm gonna give him a lot of extra work. So. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. This is quite bizarre. Because yesterday, we recorded yesterday, and for half of the podcast, Keith was driving. That's right. He was I, don't, I don't think I've ever had anyone on the podcast who was driving. Um, I once. You must have. You must no. have. No, no, no. Well, they're really? driving. I've I've seen people be on Zooms before that are driving, but it's not. It wasn't a podcast recording. Was it, it was Nate like, driving on one of them, and Nate was coming in and out, or was I that a more? So yeah. No, no I, one, I thought that the... was Ian's. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, I think that was Ian's. I think Nate was driving during one of yours. I thought he was. No, I, yeah. I think the last time he was on, it was before he'd started doing the truck thing. No, but I think he was just like... No, he was just driving, I think. Was he yeah. driving? Dude. He was just yeah, looking at yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just driving around the countryside. Yeah, I'm sure he was. Oh, I've been to sleep since then. I can't remember. There was uh, one where he was driving. Oh. Was that mental con? Maybe. No, not mental no. con. No, I don't think. No, he was on a podcast. Yeah, pass. I don't know. I'm sure it was your podcast. He was probably looking for unsuspecting victims. Probably exactly, yeah. I'm, exactly. Just looking <laughs> for that can, one person walking by themselves on the side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> There's always um, one. I want. To... So, hey, I want... Yes. Would you consider doing the more of an artist question as well? Oversized. Um, blank sketch cards or would you just keep it to the standard i'll size? probably keep it to the standard to be fair um i think i think there's i think there's something a bit special about the two and a half by three and a half um stock i think it's kind of because it's, it, it's it's nice to have the extra space i think for artists but sketch cards are you know have always been 
two and a half, three and a half. You know, people got a bit used to having a bit of extra room with the written house stuff. And now with Premiere, they can go on for days. Um, but I think, yeah, I think I think just, you know, two and a half by three and a half. And if you want to What make size it, would you want, Carl? No, I was just wondering. It's because um, obviously when you see people opening stuff and you've got the oversized sketch cards that they do, it's um, it was just a question really as yeah. to whether or not that was, you know, you, you you had a limited run of those for artists that wanted to do something on. Um... I guess so. I mean, if if we were going to do if 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 that was going to happen, I think I'd probably do it the written house size, which is what five by seven, I think. Uh, by yeah. seven, yeah, yeah, that's quite a nice yeah. size. I don't think it, it, once you get into the realms of doing anything hingy, that gets a bit pricey if you're doing them. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Don't oh do what that. you could, what you could do, I'll, I'm going to do a shameless mental con plug uh, for mental con 24. And Michael, will, if Which you want to, you're interested. Instig- it is summer solstice, June, possibly 21st to the 23rd. I'm not sure exactly on the date. Basically, summer solstice weekend, Glastonbury weekend, which is easy for us English people to remember. So it might be 21st or 24th of June. I'm really not sure. And we've got some wonderful artists. I think we've got 30 artists now, which a list we will... In fact, I'll put a post on the, the MCCW later mm. on to say me rhyming to who the artists are. And so we've got, for the artists, we've got 5 by 7 cardstock. We've got normal sketch card stock, and then we've also got three panel and four panel, but none of them are going to have the indentations in between, so it's going to be perfectly flat. Gotcha. Michael's <laughs> looking at me as though he's no idea what I'm talking about. No, you haven't I've, looked at your, I, you haven't I never looked got your back Instagram, to Nate. Have you? I never got back to Nate. I was like, oh yeah, I got to let Nate know what I want. Was that a I sudden look did. of panic on your face? Yeah, but... I may not be on it. <laughs> he may be out. He'd be like, I'm sorry, we don't have any stock left. Okay, so ask him a question. I can see Michael. Oh, no, shit. He's going to ask me a question. <laughs> and I was like, right after this, I got to send a message to Nate, who's somewhere in the West Coast driving his truck. Hope there's some stock well, we, left. We I, I, think that, the, I was just going to say, I think the reason why I mentioned it was because I, I've got a few sketch cards, but not many. And I don't really know what to, to do with them. And I, I quite like having things on the wall. And I noticed that Keith's got a half a dozen or so things behind him that look five by seven. So I think for me, the, the having the five by seven sketch card that you can put on the wall just works for, for my collecting okay. style. I- um, like I've got two or three sketches on my desk and the, of, the, of the little ones, there's the, the one that, I won from Ian um, a little while ago, uh, uh, about a year ago. And it's, it was just the personal thing, really, being able to put stuff on the wall. I mean, you can so, put the smaller ones on the wall. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. think he's right, though. I, I struggle with that because I have so much stuff and I have so much small mm-hmm. stuff and it ends up cased away. Yeah. yeah. And, and you know, I just haven't found the the display setting that I want it to work with. So for now, if it's big, it goes up. If it's small, it's on the side for now. And the sketches? Yeah. <laughs> See, the thing is, I like those glasses, Keith. I'm going to change the subject straight away. The thing is with those glasses, we can't tell if Keith's fallen asleep or not. <laughs> because he was very still for about the last 10 minutes before Carl started engaging him. And I was like, um, I was like is he falling asleep? He, was, he, was, he hadn't moved at all. <laughs> so I get, There he goes. So I have to get going, but before we go, I want to show you a little, I'll give you a little story. So I have this Five by seven, Wolverine sketch. Ooh, that's cool. This Ooh, is bronze, cool. bronze Age artist proof stock. So it's from Joseph O'Brien. Um, nice. So I play Magic the Gathering have since 1995, um, and I go to this local store, uh, and I met this guy, Joseph O'Brien. Um, no, no idea. This is probably six or seven years ago I met him, uh, and played Magic with him for five five years um and then you know at one point we started talking about collecting things and i told him oh, i'll collect marvel cards like, oh yeah and it was like he was like i used to do uh sketch cards for rittenhouse and i said what <laughs> 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 and so yeah he he did this for me he has a he has a couple artist proofs left That's awesome. um but i love this size it's my it's really i think the 
ideal size for an artist Perfect. to really get detailed mm. um you know without losing anything like it, when you start getting down to the two and a half by three and a half i mean you you can obviously get really detailed sketches it depends on how much time you take with it but um this i i feel like is just the best size um i agree i think it's the best happy medium size yeah so anyway i have to get going guys uh thank you so much oh, Sid, for thank everything you do ian appreciate um, it and i'll uh, catch you guys later thank you Sid. see you later yeah. have a great day see ya Bye. you too see you, Sid. See you, man. so now, now there were nine you're right there wesley are you on your phone as well what are yeah. you doing <laughs> yeah, he's supposed to be working because yeah. of the angle that he's at he was looking down like this I was like, What's he doing? i'm trying to multitask i was trying to use my ipad so i could get a better better screen because i can only see one person at a time right now so oh, but yeah i can't okay. get my ipad here either so yeah just all right fair i'm enough. just fair screw enough. up pete whereabouts in the country a... are you remind me me i'm in uh uh columbus ohio no not no your name's not pete though is it <laughs> yes, Peter. Peter. <laughs> I thought you said it. My bad. I'll shut up. I'm out in Colorado. Okay. Oh, so... I love it. I'm so glad Wesley could join. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm out in Colorado, uh, just north of Denver, about an hour. Um, yeah, I just was at uh, Keith's comic shop the other day, checking things out again. Oh, oh there that's right. You're Thornton. near to Keith Boyles. That's right. Mm. Yeah. Have you met Isidore before? I have not met Ezador. We've talked on uh, Insta because he was actually, actually, no, okay. So I didn't know I met Izzy one. So I was at the Denver uh, Fan Expo, I think it was two years ago, selling wallets. And uh, him and a friend came up and asked if I had any Black Widow wallets. And I was like, was I don't know. So I'm like searching through all my cards, trying to see if I had any Black Widow ones done. And I didn't. Um, and then just recently I posted something. I can't remember if it was on Marvel Card Collectors or uh, Hobby Hangouts or something with some wallets or something that I did. And he messaged me. He goes, I met you at, at the convention. I was asking for a for a Black Widow wallet. I was like, oh, crap. So it was just, you know, one of those things where you're like, you meet someone you don't even know until years later. So that That's was pretty cool. I, I did meet him once. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so, but I do need to make him a wallet. So maybe I'll see him at the uh this year's fan expo so that would be and good a um, couple people from the site mark jr uh he's been at fan expo and then i met keith at his store so yeah gradually connecting with people what are you yeah. um uh mike you mentioned it earlier on and we've not talked about it on on, on the podcast yet but you mentioned about tops and their um, sketch cards. So for those who don't know, <laughs> what's happened with tops and sketch cards? So they, specifically, this is to the Star Wars branding of tops. So, you know, I understand there are other lines, but specifically with Star Wars. Um, Lucasfilm, Disney, whoever you want to point the finger at, maybe it was Fanatics, no one really knows. Um, they decided that they were no longer going to offer APs to the artists that work on the sketch card sets. Um, so that basically you are getting paid just to create cards for the packs. Um, and that was it. And then the uh, pay scale that they came out with for those really wasn't all that enticing. So many of us tapped out and said, that's it, we're done. Um, which is unfortunate because I really enjoyed doing that. Um, and, but you know, the APs are where it's at for us. Um, so for now, there's a bunch of us that are no longer Star Wars artists. I shouldn't say that. Tops artists working on the Star Wars IP. Did they give a reason why? Is it for more of a control over how the IP is being the used? The reason was never given. It was just that this edict came from above. You know, this wasn't our decision. Um, whether that was Disney or Lucas, hard to say, um, you know, because we don't know. So, you know, you can only uh, draw your own conclusions from that. Um, and then, you know, our community being what it is, everybody runs rampant with the fact that there were too many blanks uh, on the market to buy. 
uh, that there was too many people drawing on it that shouldn't be drawing on it and or drawing subject matter uh, on those that they shouldn't have been drawing that subject. That's matter. yeah, that's what I was alluding to. It's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I guess when you start drawing Princess Leia, and you're not a Tops artist, then yeah, you know, and then, you know, Tops was just like upper deck with their do not draw. You know, these are the things you yeah. cannot draw. You yeah, know, yeah. which was easy enough to stick to. So it's an unfortunate thing. Um, you know, I know some uh, people that were on Star Wars stayed on it, and they're uh, working on the next group of cards that came out. But for the most part, the people that I know um but yeah we're no longer doing it yeah especially if you don't get the ap's because that's where you get a lot of yeah, your, yeah. right potential isn't it you know offsets the low cost per card so hmm okay well um i i wonder if that's something to just keep an eye on i mean if we could see that with upper deck i mean we've seen a lot and had a lot of conversation about what's going on with that stuff if they take a cue from that well you know everyone if... has said that oh. in I can't. They have not done that, I guess, is the best way to put it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so and, you know, there's some things that I will be working on in the summer and those still have APs attached to them. Good to know. Exciting. Exciting. I love I love it when Mike teases us with what's going to be. Well, I don't know what to, I probably shouldn't say. No, anything. you can't say anything. <laughs> I know. Well, I, you can tell I'm us you're of, working on stuff. Obviously, I'm actually out of work right us. now. There's nothing going on, and oh, I'm just okay. doing my own thing in commissions. So there, oh, we'll just leave it. At that. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, if you had some podcast stock, you could be doing stuff with. There you go. So, um, I I have okay. to say, uh, can I can can so everyone raise their hands if they haven't bought a Chris Foreman sketch. Off MCCW in the last month because it seems I mean, okay. I mean. That's slightly more people than I thought it was going to be. Uh, these things never work. Because um, no. yeah, you might have heard we had a bit of a we had a bit of a, um, a Chris Foreman loving a few weeks back. Um, not that I intend to repeat it this episode because of the fact that his his head will probably explode and go through the roof. But he does something quite cool, uh, Mike. I'm sure you see on the group where he's he just does warm up sketches and just puts them up. Oh, yeah, and then just puts exactly. claim up, and then and they, they within just, ten you know, minutes they're claimed. Yeah, like yeah. Um, but Wesley managed to get one the other day, uh, which was which was fortunate. So uh, I thought his yeah. crossover with the Lego Marvel characters was clever. I think he yes. should do more with that. Yeah. yeah, I thought that was original and super popular crossover just idea. So yeah. I think he should do more with that as well. I, I have to say, I've I I think I said it a few episodes back. Um, pretty sure it's an episode that's dropped. I really want them to do Marvel Lego Star Wars. Uh, Marvel, sorry, Marvel Lego Star Wars. What? There's a mashup. Um, that's a good one. But you know, given that Lego crosses all those streams, you know, you've got Lego Harry Potter, you've got Lego Marvel, you've got Lego Star Wars, you've got Lego everything. Basically, seems to be the one thing. It's like they've done Funko Marvel cards. Well, why not do Lego Marvel? cards i mean I'd, I'd star, be, be star wars set. isn't there there is lego star wars yeah there's lego, there's lego everything. star wars yeah. Ca cards yeah no i've not seen lego marvel cards no not enough no. characters probably no but no, no what i'm saying is they do the lego marvel exists lego star wars exists yeah, uh yeah. oh yes in the uk there have been lego star wars cards yes Car yeah they, panini yeah, did them uh, yeah 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 they did yeah was there not lego marvel i can't remember no no there, might no, be. there haven't was been there not? no um, but that's what I'm thinking. That'd be the, that'd be the kind of thing that Upper Deck could have quite a lot of fun with. I mean, you think about the the stuff they did with What If, and the yeah. stuff they did with um, uh, the Funko set. You know, seems to be quite a fun little sandpit they could play in. Well, and I think that would be a good one to to get kids back into cards. Yeah, get those in the blasters. I mean, yeah. those would be a huge thing, uh, yeah. just to have fun with again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that would be fun. Um, but while we're on the while we're on the concept of um uh, uh, of the what ifs of the card world, not what if notwithstanding, what's everyone kind of you know if if Upper Deck could bring out a set this year that was was um I absolutely like yes why didn't they think of that before or something that you'd like to see and everyone's kind of looking up now thinking about it so I've I've kind of given you one and there's another one 
that we talked about on on the episode that dropped on Thursday, which I I genuinely think if they did kind of an artist portfolio set where they did a set that was just like Todd McFarlane's work or Ron Lim's work, you know, it can be from the books, doesn't have to be, you know, original art. But you think about how much artwork there is from some of these artists. Mm. You know. Sorry, I was just looking at I was just looking at Lego Marvel trading cards that don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that, Jake. <laughs> I saw I'd seen some, I thought, I'm shit, I'm sure I've seen some somewhere. <laughs> Sorry, carry on. That's all right. I Carl, I think somewhere. you're about to say something. Yeah, that is a great idea. Do they get access to all of the artwork from all of the books though? Uh I think they've got ad- they've got access to a pool. That is, is, I believe, provided. And is that, for them, I only ask because I you think. see so much artwork repeated in the trading cards, especially with like Marvel Metal kind of stuff. It just made me wonder whether or not they actually struggle to actually access. I mean, I know we talk on the groups that they they have access to all of this stuff. Yeah, I don't think they have access to all. Of it. That, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah do, I think, do they? You know, I mean, I, you. Go ahead. Sorry. I was just going to say, for me, I'd just like it to be a little bit more consistency in mm. some of the, the actual artwork choices. Like Fleer Ultra, I know we've got issues with Fleer Ultra and it's, and it's kind of actual, the stripes and stuff. But a lot of the art has got a real f- flavour to it. And then one or two artists, it's a completely different style. And it, I, I, for me, it'd be a style thing, really, that the, the sets have, you know, the, the base cards have a style to them rather than being, you know, and I think that would work amazingly to have an artist-led set um, from the, the artwork that they could choose yeah. from. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, when we spoke to TJ at Upper Deck, he was saying that throwbacks, they, they made a concerted effort. And actually, when you look at throwbacks, a lot of the artwork on there, apart from maybe some of the Venom pieces, because it's Todd McFarlane's Venom, so there's some you know pretty iconic shots there. You know, a lot of the stuff on there I hadn't seen on cards before. You know, I think that's why uh-huh. throwbacks was was quite a, you know, I mean, you had that Walt Simonson Beast cover, Jason, that you've been so into, and then you know, John Byrne She-Hulk. I mean, I don't remember yeah. seeing any of that used on anything recently that upper deck have done yeah um, yeah and there was even some i mean some of the spider-man they used you have like you know the base card of him you know kind of crouched down taking pictures we haven't really no. seen something like that on cards before um mm-hmm. but i do think that um just our conversations with tj i think they're making a little bit more of a concerted effort to not repeat art um you know kind of, you know, look for some, you know, newer newer images that they can use. Mm. Mm. That said, I saw the base card art for, and it's not original art, this one, for Black Cat from Platinum um, last night, as we record, and it's been used on cards before. Yeah. So, so I'm like a bit like, mm. I mean, it's not, 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 the, not the worst image, but it's been used on cards at least twice before, maybe three times. It's from Amazing Spider-Man 194. Um, at least it's not the cover image from Amazing Spider-Man 194. Right. Because if I see another card with that on anytime soon, I think I'm probably going to smash my computer up. Um, <laughs> while you're, while you, the rest of you are thinking about your um, your ideal sets that could come out from Upper Deck, should we do another giveaway? No, way. Give us the wheel, Ian. I love. The well, wheel. I've got the wheel there. Keith, <laughs> do you want to do one of your things? We can do one of mine. Yeah, so um, so while Keith's selecting the prize, let me share my screen. Now, if I've got this wrong and your name isn't on this screen, you have to tell me. Right, so Andy's there. Mike's there. Jake's Let's there. Let's do the Wolverine. Pete the Sid, Sid has gone. Right, hang on a minute. Sid has gone, but we have... Hang on a minute. Is that everyone? Guess no, it one. says you have Where's nine people here. You got Keith. Yeah, I know. We got Wesley, Keith. myself, Jason, and Keith. Yeah, you take me thing. out. I'm doing yeah. a give. Yeah, no, I, yeah, yeah, we've yeah. left the hosts off. That's why we've only got the guests. Mm. You see, so there's there's four what about hosts Wesley? And five guests. 
uh, Wesley's a host. Host. Yeah. So yeah, you're not just, taught this, Stuart. There's too many rules. Okay. This is too many. Rules. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, listen, Keith, I could put you on there, just... but you'd win your own card. Exactly. So you know, that's why. I mean, I'm, I'm more than willing to put the other hosts on. If the other hosts wish to be on this giveaway, they can be. Jason. No, let's I'll, let's Wesley? Our, our guests have fun. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the idea. Put, put me, Carl, on... co-worker on the list. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Wesley made a noise there, but I didn't hear what it was. What was that, Wesley? No, no let's leave everybody else on. Okay, fair enough. Right, I'm going to click the button. So, Keith, what's this to win? Right, we're going to show that in a moment. All right, Keith, on a is big that screen. Gordon's? This is Tim Fagley. Oh, right. okay. We'll show you that in a moment. I'm going to click the button. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? This is brilliant audio, isn't it? Lovely. Oh, 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 it's Carl. Oh, it's Carl. Oh, hey. Carl. <laughs> so, Carl, you have won. Uh, hang on a second. Let me click stop share. I did click stop share. There we go. Right. Hang on a minute. I'm going to make you big. Keith. There we are. Oh, nice. Uh, You've won that that's, Wolverine sketch. That's awesome. Thank you. That's sweet. DM me and I'll get everything over to you. Marvelous. Look at that. Look at that. Can See? I... Happy days. This is worth getting up early for. Well, you're in the UK. <laughs> Hang on. Both of the UK <laughs> people not. have won now. Yeah, yeah. This is, this is not time. good for conspiracy. Americans. This is not good for your Americans. This is, this is, this is <laughs> not good at all. I, I, I kind of feel the, feel the need to give one more thing away, but just have the Americans on the list. No, you can't do that. That's racist. I did. <laughs> Tough. Oh, that's racist. <laughs> racist is the word. I did bring my card too. If we wanted to uh, give that away, you want to give that? You got your She-Hulk. Yeah, you got your She-Hulk. I tell you what. Yeah, and... let's, let's 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 calm down a moment. Let's let's get some more value. Let's squeeze some more juice out of our guests before <laughs> before we give them anything else. Yeah. So uh, has anyone had, had a bit of time? <laughs> got to squeeze that content juice. That sounds wrong. That sounds filthy. Anyway. <laughs> that is uh, wrong. <laughs> but, on, what was okay. the question? Ian? You're a fine I one forgot. to talk. Set that, yeah. If Upper Deck could release one set this year that ticks all the boxes for you, what kind of set would it be? They've done it for me, Flare Ultra Wolverine. So I'll, I'll keep my mouth shut. Well, it's not out yet. You haven't seen any of the art. Could be a part I don't of the or you know. <laughs> yeah, I said, I said this. Even if it is going to be shit, I'm going to love it okay. because I can message Keith. I can message Ryan about. X23, and I, I'm okay. just going to love it no matter what. I'm going to okay. be a sucker for it. All right. Sorry. So you're going to be doing uh, the whole Demi Moore lying on bed with, with instead of dollars, just like cards and just rolling around uh, naked. Yeah. So what about what about a flare on Venom set? Oh, don't give them ideas, but I'm sure they're probably already working <laughs> on that. I mean, why wouldn't they be a flare ultra Venom? Well, uh, yeah, because you've got Spider Man, you've got, yeah, no, got no. Wolverine, okay. you've got Avengers, you know, you, I mean, I, I, and, and everyone's know. been made a symbiote now, so you could easily. Yeah, everyone yeah everybody. Just use sure. every cover they did for that. Yeah. You know what? I would, I would like to see, and I'm not, someone just said to me, Ed, like an 18 or uh, R rated set. So we could have some cleavage, and we could have the sketch card artist, <laughs> one per box, draw whatever they want. And we can also have, like, remember, uh, oh, what was it in? Was it the bronze bronze age set where they got like the canvas battle scarred cards and like Spider Man's been ripped to bits and Thor's been ripped to bits and we can have guns and yeah, just a bit of fun, you know. So the anti Disney set, basically. Yes. Yeah. No, I'm sure we can work on that. Yeah. yeah they'll we'll have go. blasters at Walmart for it. That'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the top shelf. Of, the blasters have got to be like six foot high, so. Oh, then I can't reach out that one. <laughs> yeah, Max holding the cigarette. Yeah, you can. You, we'll can, have you a... can take a little footstool down from your apartment, though, can't you? Yes, you'll be fine. You'll we'll be have fine. a lion's yeah. den. <laughs> if you yeah. buy, buy a case of whiskey or vodka, you get a free blaster box as well. That's quite from the well, Walmart. Hang on, no, swap that round. You buy a blaster, kiddies, you'll get a free pack of fags. You know, <laughs> get some marble lights or filter this camels for the for the young ones. Um, and Pamela Anderson cars. We need more Pamela Anderson in Marvel. So oh soon my goodness me! Well, you can get Axbone back. You can get Axbone back to draw his, his his voluptuous lady cards. Um, 
I'm <laughs> waiting for Michael now to jump in with his Pamela Anderson story. I'm, on, not, I'm staying away from Pamela Anderson right now. <laughs> and just because she and I are having brunch tomorrow at noon, you know, people don't need to worry about that. Everything's all just fine with Pam. Mm, so. She had like a comic, wasn't she? Like Barbarella or something like yeah. that? Bob yeah. And there were cards. Did none of you see the Barb Wire movie? Oh, yeah. It's a great film. I remember the poster. Yeah. It's got a. I remember the post. Most, most people are actually. All these young people. I can't. <laughs> yeah. I wonder why. It's got a Bubba Bubba Fett in it, or Django Fett, or whatever. He no. said, "Great what? flick." So there's nothing what? great about. Yeah, no. the guy. The I don't guy know what plays, he's talking about. The guy that plays Bubba Fett was in Barbed Wire. Oh, to Tamara Morrison. Morrison. Oh. Morrison. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's been it's been like twenty five years since I saw it, so. And I would think I was probably stoned at the time, which is why I remember it as a great flick. Okay. I said, you said great flick, and I'm like, no. Yeah, no, no, no. no. Way no. that was a most great movies flick. that came out in the '90s. I was stoned when I saw, so most of them are okay. great flicks from my point of view. <laughs> you know, it um, did have the the first two to three minutes of that movie was probably the greatest beginning of a superhero movie ever. Fight me on that. Wow, okay. I haven't seen it. I'd have, have to go have back to and watch it. it. That's yep. when she was on the ring swing and getting hosed with water. <laughs> All right. Um, after this episode uh, is broadcast, there'll be a, 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 a little blip in the online rentals for barbed wire, and then it will go back to being flatline. <laughs> and that'll be the that'll be the twelve listeners, <laughs> or however many it will be for that week. Um, good, um, Andy. I'm going to pick on you now for this question because you sat there with your video game wall behind you. And your wonderful icons. I love those icons. See, this is this is worth putting your camera on. I can see your apartment. Yeah, so, keeps going. Wow. Oh wow. Yeah, oh, you both did. I told you. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. Um. That just... No, but as far as a set, I would like to see. I mean, I think I was thinking about maybe another all women set would be a hit. I mean, it's been a while. Um, women of Marvel was a one of my favorites um, from that era. The Greatest Battles also comes to mind. Not Upper Deck product, but I love the battle scenes in that and just something a little bit more original and dynamic. Every card is something worth staring at and seeing all the detail between the heroes and villains. So something along those lines could be cool. Um, I'm going to make your day then because I've seen blank sketch card stock, stock out there for Women in Marvel. Women in yep. Marvel. It's yeah. out there. Coming yeah. from Upper Deck. Oh really? So, I yeah, really they're working on it. That. There's another one as well. Something oh. heroines or something. Have you seen that? Oh, there's okay. a different one. No, I think there's two female set centric sets coming. Uh, wow! Please hold. Uh, Bring those swimsuits back with a little have... water droplet on. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know. How... <laughs> yeah, the swimsuit cards with the bubbles. What was that all about? That was yeah. That Emma Frost. Was... <laughs> Emma Frost. Oh. <laughs> Jake, the way you said that, you were like. Emma Frost. Like, oh. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Carl's going to be back in five. Yeah. He's going to make a cup of tea. Oh, yeah, <laughs> all right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right, be back in a sec. All right, I'll have one. Milk and two, please. Milk and two. Thank you. Um, you know what I'd like to it, see? I'd like just... to see a return of 95 style. I want three different artists to do a character. Oh, oh yeah. That's, That's bang cool. through that way. That would be Absolutely nice. Absolutely love the layout of that set it's, it just displays so nice in a binder it's so fun oh, yeah. to flip through and see all the different versions of the same character lined up next to each other in perfect order they just made it for the binder which is awesome yeah. Yeah. Uh, another or a set maybe that did had um a lot more nine panel you know full-size pages from to make the, oh, puzzle. the old puzzle yeah those were yeah. so yeah. cool yeah i was gonna say 94 amazing spider-man's probably my all-time oh favorite oh, set yeah. and i would love to see something like that but by, by maybe a couple artists but a little bit more in that comic book style art um yeah you know just to kind of bring it all back together would be would be awesome one of the best ones that did that was uh what was it x-men series two where when you put it in the nine page they had like the battle two card battle and then mm -hmm. they had the sinister's team on the right side and the nine cards and it fit just right to where you had all three cards lined up that nice. one was really cool i don't think i've ever seen them do something like that again yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah three blue, arcs blue ultra yeah. spider-man 2017 where they did the the triples like greg hildebrand 
There was a Bianchi one. They were great. Yeah, the yeah. Legacy. Were great. Yeah. They were they yeah, the legacy. They were they were absolutely amazing. I don't think they've done well actually no, Marvel 80th did uh they had the nine, nine cards. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um but I don't think there's been anything since then. Keith, sorry, what were you holding up? Uh Matriarchs. That's the other right. female lid. It's a Fle- it's a Fleer Ultra Matriarchs is what Fleer at least... Ultra Matriarchs. Uh, huh. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. Doesn't exactly trip off the tongue, does it? No, no. no. Matriarchs. Oh, matron. Actually, oh, actually, it does kind of trip. It stutters off the tongue. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Well, well, we'll see. We'll see. Could be fun. Could be G. Was it? Was it that thing? This. This is one for the English audience, which is just basically Jake because Carl's mm-hmm. gone off to make just... a cup of tea. Do you remember TFI Friday? Yeah, the Chris Evans yeah. show T- back in the nineties. Remember, he used yeah. to do that thing, genius or goat. Yeah, you remember yeah. that? So, mm-hmm. uh, Fleer Ultra Matriarchs, genius or goat? That's <laughs> all I need to do. Yeah. All the way through every set. Mm-hmm. Tell you what I liked as well, Fat Lookalikes. <laughs> that was good when somebody 20 stone and come on and say, I'm a Fat Lookalike or Brad Pitt. And people would actually <laughs> go on this, the live TV show every week, wouldn't they? Yeah. Yeah, this was this was this was some this was a very nineties thing in the UK. Yeah, yeah. It's actually quite refreshing to have cultural references that the American guests don't get because it's normally the other way around, quite frankly. So I kind of feel like I'm getting my own back a little bit. It's taken two hundred episodes. Um, I mean, I used to confuse I used to confuse no in no end with um, stuff that I'd come out with. Um, yeah, English stuff. So so yeah. Um, um, well, when when <laughs> Carl comes back, I'll do another giveaway. I think uh, wait, wait. Uh, not too long ago about um, Marvel uh, comics that aren't in the Marvel universe. Like, um, is there anything like I know they used to have GI Joe or the Nam or whatever Transformers. Transformers. That, okay, so that I mean a, a set like that might be kind of cool because uh, I made me think of like who has the rights to do like I know it's off subject but Tron right now like. Disney. The only... Disney. Yeah, Disney's Ultron. Disney owns the crap oh, out of that. Yeah, so and that made me think like I know Star Wars is Disney and Tops does their cards, but Disney also has Marvel and Upper Deck does their cards. So you do you have to have a separate license to do the Tron cards? I I don't uh yeah, it will be done by property because uh, Tron is an IP. Um I mean, to be fair, Tops have had the license since 1977, long before Disney ever got 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 close to um, uh, Lucasfilm. So, um, so that's more more of a legacy contract, I guess. There is no, there is Tron cards out there, out there like old Tron cards. Yeah. Did they make a set for that back in the eighties? Yes, they did. Oh, did they make Don- a set for the new movie? Don- no, I don't think so. I I can't. Remember. Tron Legacy. When was that? Yeah. Was about, what was that? Twenty ten? Did that come out? 20- yeah, that was about right. I've, I've got no, I, I know I've seen it, but I've got no recollection of it. I'm one of the five people on earth that loves that movie. Okay. Yeah, well, it was <laughs> one of the, the the soundtrack with a so good punk. It was Daft Punk soundtrack, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. The um, the intro song is my ringtone on my phone. Okay, <laughs> it was a good film. So it's where's the key for two of the five I, people on Earth who love that movie? By the sounds of it. That's what I'm just taking from that. <laughs> My mate loves it. My mate loves that film and watches it person. religiously every that's year. Third person. So that's three. Right. If you so have a good sound system, it's the perfect movie to like test it out yeah. and enjoy it. That's oh, okay. for... See, see, people just need to watch it, that's all. I think people just didn't watch it. It got shit marketing. Yeah. It's a really cool film. Really cool. And uh, the the next one they're making he's got that uh what's the actor's name um Jared Leto yeah Jared Leto he's they're There's filming a lot of people in it Leto's what? in it uh Cameron Monaghan's in it uh Gillian Anderson's in it um oh hello yeah there's that a good some... there's a good set of cast in that movie oh yeah uh, now's a decent script and um don't be like that Ian <laughs> <laughs> what movie has a decent script right now <laughs> nothing Really, it's Tron. Um, it doesn't doesn't matter what the script is with Tron. It's so cool. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's just fun to watch. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen Oppenheimer, by the way? Yeah, it's very good. 
Yeah, it was good, yeah. Long. Yeah, well, Could have yeah, cut yeah, it an hour shorter, I think. Oh, yeah. I really want to see June 2. Is it you've seen June 2? It's amazing. It's amazing. Oh, it's one of the best really films I've seen it. for ages. So good. So good. I really, really want to see it. I'll probably go see it. Dune today. Yeah, I just want to go and spend three hours in a dark room with strangers. It Wait, goes by over. fast. Yeah. It, it <laughs> doesn't yeah, it does, yeah. Well, good, because the first one did not go by fast. It yeah, no, <laughs> the second one is forever. much, much better than the first. Right. I'm you have to watch the first. the first. Yeah, don't watch the first 1980s one, though, Carl, or else you'll be really pissed <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> nah, there's a lot of world building that happens in the first one that sets this up so you can be yeah, rocking right, right through it. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Right. Peters, okay. Evan Peters, the other person that's going to be in the uh, new movie. Okay. Right. We're going to do at least one more. Um, now, um, let's see. Uh, surely got, got, yeah. uh, it's Jake. I'm going to say this, but surely you have to take me and Jake off this now. Well, keep me on. I want to stay on. I like being feeling important and I love the wheel. <laughs> I was going to say, I'd probably look a bit sad if I take two more people off it. So I'm just going to run it. Yeah. But if it lands on an English person, you have the choice to pass it on. Yeah, I won't be passing. yeah I'm not passing. No, dude. Okay. No, I Me. didn't think you were. Agreed. No. I'm right. Greedy. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Who's it going to be? Not me. Andy. Andy. Oh, there no. we go. There we go. See- yeah, Andy, awesome. patience is it was, worth, it was worth hanging on for. Right. So, <laughs> Thanks, and, Andy, Andy, you have the. Oh, oh Jesus. Do it again and then and, and put Bill oh, lucky. Lucky Say that again. Oh. So you've got another person turned up. Oh, well, we'll do that in a moment. I've got no idea who's just turned up. Right. Uh, Andy, pick a number. Four. Let's see what you've. What you're about to get. You are about to get. What's this going to be? What's this going to be? Who knows? This <laughs> this, this delay is brought to you by shitcomputer.com. <laughs> You've got a graded black cat card. Look at that. There nice. we go. Right. Very cool. Oh, nice. Thank you. So I will get that awesome. in the mail to you. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Right. Hang on. Who's just dropped into the. um? Who's just dropped in? Oh, oh now. Oh, the a legend. Another legend. Now the party started. He's here to watch us open. That's just a little clue <laughs> for everyone else. Um, Bill, is it still dark where you are? No? He's 15 minutes from me. He's 15 minutes from me. There he is! There we go. There, there he is. <laughs> back to life, back to reality, is what there I want to sing when I see you. There was an inopportune Zoom update required, so pardon my tardiness. That's quite all right. It often takes me at least an hour to update Zoom in the mornings as well. Um, how you doing, sir? I'm doing great. How are you guys then? Oh, we're, we're doing all right. We're, we're, so we're, I, we're I know everybody out. except Jason, but all, all of you, you know, our, our elbows have rubbed. Um, so hello, everyone. Hello, Ian. Uh, you don't have to catch me up. Oh. Um, Oh, but, oh, we've talked about loads. I think he's managed to mute himself. Yeah, he oh, did. No, somehow you muted yourself. Muted. Oh, there you no, go. You're back. Right, there we go. Now we can hear yeah, you. What did I you say? Munchie, the Munch Man. Yes, sir. How are you? All right. Good to see you. Good. Good to see you. The magnificent Munchaw, as we called him on yeah. it. Michael has, has narrowly managed to avoid winning one of his own sketch cards a number of times now. So well done, Mike. <laughs> 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 Next giveaway we do will probably be Keith. Um, right. Um, Bill, what can you tell us? What Tell us something new and exciting. I, 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 I can tell you, you know, in, in 90 seconds without making it all about me, that this is a wonderful thing, 200 episodes. I know that wasn't your question. I know you were trying to make the, you know, ask me about my life and you don't, you don't want anybody to be like, hey, Ian, you're great. Because God forbid anybody tells you the obvious that, uh, that, that not too long ago, you know, some of us didn't even know each other at all. Um, Bless you. Thank you. Have you finished? No, I haven't finished. Okay. Some, some, some of us have watched the fellowship grow around us. Some of us have watched loneliness disappear. Um, our whole attitudes and outlooks how life on life have changed just because we've met certain people. And right. you are you are an yep. important person in, 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 in the happening of all of us meeting those people. So I agree. 
whether oh, or yeah, not no, this is why you yeah. want to do it. This is what today is about. That's what we're celebrating. So guess what? Everybody look at Ian and smile and say thank you. Thank you, Ian. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Ian. Thank you Ian. Bless you, Billy. Thank you very much. I'm I'm not going to say anything else right now because I I will probably start crying. Yeah, but no, <laughs> it's all that's it's all true. You know, I've Get never met your goddamn, any, you know, any of these show. guys before that. And because <laughs> of your podcast and creating this community, we've met all these people. So no, that's Thank all you. on you, bud. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Thank you. Ah, <sighs> two hundred episodes, Billy. Before before um before you were on, we were asking people what if they had a highlight from the two hundred episodes or and or their their kind of first episode. In fact, I, did, I don't think I asked you about highlights. I think I asked you what your first episodes were. But anyway, first episode, Billy. first episode. Yeah. yeah, I did, didn't I? Yeah. So, uh, so I have, I have two favorites. First one, and I can't remember his name, so it's going to be like, how good could it be? But it, it, it's also like, you know, you'll get it. The guy from the '90s who was building sets and he was talking about doing things by nine and oh, um, Ken Baroff. Who, who now, worked the, impulse you have no idea how like that just cracks this 20 year old like oh my god it's not just me oh my god it's not just me yeah um so that was like a really cool event. and then my first one with you guys because really if i felt like i was being two celebrities and, and that was it was an honor you know and and i still you know it's humbling and and, and uh surreal that i you know i get to talk to all you fine people Oh, bless you. I remember on one of your watch me open um sorry no watch me open on one of your um Trivia shows, Marvel on the Brain. There we go. Yeah. I, uh, I didn't have Marvel on the Brain on the Brain just then. Clearly, um, you actually, <laughs> when, when I was on it with Tony Perner, James Edel, you know, yeah, and who else was on it? That was it. We were only doing it, it was three. It was three. That's right. There we go. There are four, but of course the fourth one was you. Um, you used the old intro, the very verbose intro I did for over a hundred episodes of this shit. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. That and it was hilarious. And I was like, it took me, and I think I have a feeling that was the one that we recorded quite late at night, and I was a little bit drunk. So it took me a few moments to actually get that you what you were doing. <laughs> I, I said, like, you know, your weekly digest of Marvel yeah, yeah, trivia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, didn't get it. <laughs> that was hilarious. Just went, whoa. Yeah, it just went oh, yeah. Yeah. But who does that, Jake? Who does that? <laughs> How's it going, sunshine? How hey. are you, Billy? Anyway, we miss you. We yeah. miss your face and your fun. You doing yeah, I good? Don't, yeah? I don't miss that face. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, look, you know, we're all friends, we're all honest. Look, that face. Listen, it's the second time that he's smiled, thanks to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a smile? Jeez, I'm surprised your camera's still he's, working. He's he's from yeah. the north. That's as close as you get. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Understand um, it's just hundreds of years of physical violence to you know to, to the faces in that family. That that's how you get where you're at. <laughs> They're a scrappy bunch. They're a scrappy bunch, the McManuses. No Northerners in general are quite a scrappy bunch. Yeah. He says massively yeah. over over simplifying cultural. You know, it, it, it's funny. Yeah, I, I always think about it. Um whenever you say northerners because i'm a doctor who fan and there was one time where where you know the, the new actor was a northerner and uh you know he's so he's trying to say that he's an alien she's like well why do you sound like you're from the north and he's like oh, plants have a north yeah. <laughs> uh, probably christopher eccleston i would have thought um no uh isn't uh um capaldi well no he's scottish and so, well, yeah. so, so, I mean, isn't, well, that, the, the, okay. isn't that the northerners? Well, yeah, no, well, we, we kind of call it Scotland because that's where it is. <laughs> Whereas the north is just the north of England. But, yeah, yeah. We, we just don't get over excited doing that. North is north. Yeah. I don't think I've ever heard you get over excited, Jake. Yeah, not generally, no. Yeah. no I'm 51, You've come I'm 51 close to years it. old. Yeah, his days of excitement are over. Yeah, yeah, I can. I, I, I feel 51 that. Fifty-one years. You've done a lot, haven't you? In fifty-one years, so it's got to be something spectacular, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah, Mike will be fifty next year. You'll be able to tell us all about it, Mike. Yeah. What was that? I couldn't hear. You. <laughs> I said you'll be fifty next year. You can tell us all about. <laughs> it. I wish I was going to be fifty next year. We don't want to talk about this coming. <laughs> we won't. Yeah, we won't. We won't go, we won't go yeah. there. We won't go there. On um, to the next two hundred. On to the next two hundred. Now, what do you want to? So this is the. the I, what kind of? What kind of? circle into land i think and i wanted to ask because i i always say 
in every single episode kind of show notes i always say this is a podcast for collectors and you know i want anyone who listens to this to say oh do you want to do an episode on this or you know come up with ideas so is there stuff that you or sets even old or new that you want us to talk about or topics that you want us to talk about that you think well i maybe you'd like our take on it or you haven't heard us talk about enough or just you know shit that you or people that you'd like us to interview as well so that's just an open question and even existing hosts can can tackle this one because you know we're all in it together lads I'd I'd like you to get Izzy on and if he could show you some of his collection and tell you the stories and some of the artists who he work. I think that that would be so cool because yeah. yeah, he's got such a collection. He That'd has. be great. Yeah. So you're he's talking the about... Ignatius. Yeah. Be careful when you're asking Izzy to play show and tell. You might need a wide lens to catch it all. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, we um, uh, you're talking about Isidore Chavez. Is that his surname? Yeah. Who's yeah. a Black Widow collector? For those who don't know. So. <laughs> And a white Mexican. <laughs> well, 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 you know, it's, it's, it's true. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I've got a feeling I've just missed something there. I've got no idea what's going on. But he's a black widow, and then my brain. So I just, I was like, let me follow it up. He's a white Mexican, black widow collector, white, you know, the whole black <laughs> white thing. We're over it. It's over. <laughs> we moved past it. Moving all on. All, all, Moving all a billion. On. We're, we're over it now. <laughs> Moving on. Anyone, anyone else? Right, put that on the list. Wesley, you're at work. You have ability to make lists, so make a list. Right, write all this shit down just in case the recording doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> anyone else? Have you guys done a lot on, on specifically promos, like 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 uh, comic promos, you know, toy promos? I know you've done a little bit here and there, but there's I, 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 every day I still see something that like, oh, I didn't know that existed. Yeah. Yeah, there's no, all I want these, to. There's all these dark avenues where promos yeah. come from. Yeah, yeah, no, they want to. There was an episode, <coughs> excuse me, uh, there was an episode on promos for comics. Right. So, uh, so I, I, I had planned to do more, but it, it didn't happen. Uh, so basically, you've got a number of different types of promos. You've got promos, obviously, for sets. Uh, you've got um, versions of cards that end up in other products like toy biz you know for example there's a prime example of that and then you've got promos card promos that came out but that were promoting comics they weren't promoting sets um and that yeah so, so we've done the latter one of those uh and boy that was a fun journey but now now in the wonderful age of youtubeness that could be quite a good episode to be able to show some promos, are, yeah. promos are great as well aren't promos you know? cool. yeah, yeah. you work it out properly you've done it before haven't you about the weeklies and stuff like that you have touched yeah. on them haven't you oh yeah yeah yeah, well, cool. yeah that was the promos for the comics so yeah mm. um but some of the set promos there's some and especially some of those uncut ones from the 90s they are gorgeous mm. they are really mm. nice um and really affordable as well and very collectible is a question for you does for those who know grading to psa or anyone else grade those uncut promo sheets in the they have a they have a, they have a form for oversized yeah i think bgs would be the one um i think i've seen michael spina post a okay. few of those right. in big bgs labs okay cool all right i'll keep an eyes open for that um what about you andy I don't know what I would like to see. Um, maybe, I mean, you've done so many of the big artist names. I'm trying to think of just some of the classics. I always like hearing from the guys who have been in it the longest. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I, granted, I haven't listened to all 200 episodes, but I've... Uh, what? You know, right, remove him from the... <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Oh, I've Delete. only listened to maybe 150 of them um but uh i don't know um just some of the old artists or maybe even some of the new guys i don't know just i i like who i like so i would yeah, throw yeah, out yeah. some names but yeah um yeah i mean ariel olivelli um or tom fleming from an old standpoint you probably have had him on i imagine tom's, tom's been on tom's gonna come on again soon actually yeah i really like the episodes that are the like kind of big 
set collectors of a specific set. Like I love the 2019 flair episode with the three Marcus, Ben, yeah. Dennis, mm -hmm. like those guys talking about it. Cause those are super passionate guys um, on a very specific set. So yeah, any of those kind of collectors, I like to see the round table and how they work together yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, to help make it happen. Cause they're all kind of master set building. So yeah. those kinds of episodes are intriguing for me and fun to listen to. I tell you, I tell you who's on my list in terms of artists. We mentioned him when we were talking about platinum on the platinum episode that you will yet to hear. Um, Dave Dorman, I'd love oh, yeah. to get him on. That'll yeah. be a cool one. Um, I really yeah. want to get him on. Um, I really want Ray Largo to come on um, because I think he'd be great to speak to. Um, and Tom Fleming is going to come back soon because um, he, nice. he is, as was announced um, in the last twenty-four hours, uh, going to be repped by Eugene Hugh. Um, mm -hmm. rare mm -hmm. so um, he's going to be uh, representing Tom Fleming going forward so so that'll be fun um, and in terms of sets I really would like um, Jonathan Dunn to come on and talk about Flea Ultra Spider-Man because yeah. he is yeah. Mr. Fussum uh, we've had Mr. Fuxum uh, that was a good episode that was one that of my favourites too that was easily yeah, one of my favourite being episodes. a collector I didn't mm -hmm. quite comprehend when people would talk about that guy but then when ian and noren had him on that episode Oof. i was just like that is just mind-boggling yeah yeah that's the yeah. other thing he was like an urban legend mike until he was on the podcast yeah yeah, yeah. so and, and and he 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 came out and just validated all these stories that yeah. we all heard and we're like yeah. there's no way that's yeah. real no one builds a walk-in <laughs> vault and then goes a concrete oh, yeah, a, a concrete bunker <laughs> no one yeah. has yeah. four buyback sets <laughs> Yeah, there you can. I mean, the, the guy, he, uh, he worked super hard for his money, and boy, has he spent it on, yeah. on cards. But it's just oh, yeah. that set. <clears throat> just that set. So, yeah, crazy, crazy time. Talk about I can't, a cool I can't memory remember, that guy but... has around cards. You know, Oof. to he held on to that memory and just built something yeah. amazing um, yeah. off of it Absolutely. with his collection. <laughs> But did, did he indicate if fate would would bring us another Flare Ultra X Men set that he'd dabble again? I can't remember. I don't hmm. think so. Because you know, in the back Maybe of our minds, like we've we've all got to remember, if it's exactly Flare Ultra X Men, there's still a chance he might come out, and you know, we should all be prepared for that. I mean, not we, <laughs> but you know, anybody who's trying to get into it should be prepared because. You weren't around. I mean, a lot of people weren't around the last time when they had to compete with him. It was open season for him. He'd probably have to be a lot more aggressive and quicker if he wanted to spend that kind of money. Well, I have a feeling that the next time they do it, Upper Deck will simply, rather than ship half of it off to go on EPAC, they'll just shop it off, it off him. Him yeah, to his Just house. send it right to and his he'll house. Just, he'll just drive a truckload of money up to the Upper Deck gates and just say, oh, lads. <laughs> now, um, I know, I don't know if this is for episode worthy or not, or if you guys have covered it already. We're headed towards perhaps sketch card artists being able to get their cards graded and slabbed. We can now, but there's gonna there may be other avenues for us to do that. And I know when it comes directly, to like my sketch covers, right. a lot of people prefer for me to get my sketch covers CGC certified now and have that um, as an addition to the you know the sketch cover they're getting from me. So, like, if they come out with that for sketch cards, is that something that the community would be interested in at all? So, I don't know if that takes up a whole episode or not. Oh, it's definitely a good one to talk about. <clears throat> I hadn't heard that that was going to be a, a like a thing, as it were, for the artist to actually like. You mean do a PSC or a, or an AP and then have it graded and sell it yeah. as a graded thing? Yeah. Would you grade it or or just authenticate? Probably just authenticate. Um, I don't know about the details of that. Yeah. Okay. But it would be slabbed. Yeah. Okay. That <laughs> That's interesting. I got well, we've got on that. We've got hopefully we've got um, PSA coming on soon. Oh. From PSA. So okay. that could be a good conversation to have with them. Get their take on it. Keith, your glasses still flashing. It's still going. Still going. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I gotta spend all day with this guy. God help me. <laughs> really? Is that your Saturday? Uh, it's a uh, St. Patrick's Day parade in, in town. Oh, 
Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, it's a good job we're not doing this on Sunday because Keith wouldn't be vertical. <laughs> right. You say, won't find me on Sunday. I can't, I can't look at Keith um, t- for too long at any one stretch today because I'm going to have a fit. Story of, of my life. Glasses. Story of my life. <laughs> I'm most shocked. I too. Most, Ian, most women too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> can we just say, can we just say, because I said it before we started recording, I'm going to say it again, the award-winning Keith Spironi. Ah, thank you. Mm, yeah. Have you actually got the award with you? Like, within uh, arms reach? You show no, people? not arms reach. It's in, no. a, it's in the other room. No, it's in the other room. Just in case someone breaks in, you can bash them over the head with it. It's, it's heavy, fun. man. It's like yeah. three times the weight of a water bottle. You don't think we can filibuster for 40 seconds? Yeah, get the award. There we go. Get the award. There we go. <laughs> right. I'll, I'll sit here in silence for 40 seconds. <laughs> you wait till you see this thing. It's impressive. And his award. Um, what, <laughs> why, why, why are you waiting to Billy? Oh, my goodness me. Um, it's always a fun time when Billy's on the show, folks. Uh, what about you, uh, Pete? What would you... Oh, hang on. No, he's back. Pete, I'm going to talk Hello. to you. So, yeah, we'll wait. Let's, let's see, see this thing. This, let's, see this, let's see this thing. Here he comes. <clears throat> That's a very impressive-looking award. There you go. <laughs> remind, remind us what you won that for. <laughs> Billy. <laughs> Oh my uh, God. Highest customer count in my division. So I service over 94 accounts. Yeah, you and... service over 94. <laughs> <laughs> and the next closest person is at 72. <laughs> what does one have to do to be serviced by Keith? <laughs> Pick Billy off. <laughs> he wants to say something so bad. <laughs> Billy, Billy, I'm so excited. Billy, he's trying so hard. Has anyone ever been on a podcast with Billy before, apart from Keith? It's no. an experience. It's an experience. <laughs> now you have. Now you have. You can go and tell your family. You can go and tell your grandkids. Those who've got grandkids, uh, which I think is only three people on this call have got grandkids. That's quite a lot, actually. Um, you know, Pete. You know, um. I don't know. The only set that's coming into my mind, which would be amazing if you could interview him, would be Jim Lee. Just to oh. really go to town. Never happened, but come on. You can't deny going you into town and learning don't about... Hey, don't X-Men say never crap. happened. Yeah. Would be an amazing interview. And just... Yeah. Yeah. I think I think, um, I think think Wesley would probably call in sick for that one. <laughs> wouldn't you, Wesley? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's not... Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen. It, it, like I said, if you don't ask, you don't get. Um, yeah. It took three years of asking yeah. Joe Jusco <laughs> until he finally yeah. um, was able to come on. So you know, you've got to do it, haven't you? Right, Carl. Well, we're done. Anything you? <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> what, what, have like, you what? Done? what have you done? You tell huh? us. The car's like, what? Just, Where am I? It was just very random that you just you, you just. What did you put? In, what, for, what did you put well, in your tea? Have you taken Where an edible? Or was it going? It was a good yeah. tea, man. It was a good yeah, tea. no, it, it did look like a good cup of tea. I don't know. I don't know why I said that. How can you tell if a cup of tea is good just by looking at the side of the mug? Um, no, it didn't last long. It didn't like last long. Straight down the hatch. You're going to wee soon. Well, it's all right. We're going to let you go in a minute. Um, anything, anything that you would like us to talk about more on the podcast, or any ideas for shows that you've got? If you haven't got an answer straight away, I can go and ask. I can go and ask someone else and come back to you. Go on, come back to me. All right. Who, who haven't I? Hang on, I think we've spoken to him. Uh, I'm going to ask Jason because I haven't heard Jason's voice for a long time. What do uh, What do I want us what, to talk? What about? do you want to talk? Yeah, what do you? <laughs> right, if you could interview anyone for the podcast, Jason, because because you you're on the crew now. Right. Well, um, well, same question is coming for you, Keith. By the way, I'm, I'm, I'm going to steal Pete's idea, Jim Lee. That would be awesome. Okay, um, so we've got two folks. No, I, and you you mentioned it before. I mean, Mark Bagley would be great to talk to, but I think you reached out to him about that 94 Spider-Man set, and it was yeah. no go. No, no Yeah. No. <laughs> I think the response was something akin to, I, I, I don't even remember doing it, so I'm not sure what I'd have to say or <laughs> something like that, <laughs> so, which is fair enough, I guess. You know, he does a lot of, he does a lot of work, and he works very fast. So, yeah. No, it would be nice to speak to Mark Bagley. You know what I want? You know what I really want to talk to is Mark Texera. That would oh, be cool. No, that would be that would yeah. be a fun. Uh, that would be a fun episode. And I heard he's a wacko. 
yeah, yeah. That and crosses the sweet spot of of nineties goodness, and he's done sketch cards as well. And Joe Rubenstein, I'd like to talk to as well. Um, I've met him once, and uh, I'd like Mark a lot because he did a lot of Ghost Rider stuff, and I and I yeah. really like that. Yeah, you're a Ghost Rider fan. So, so who else? Uh, okay, sorry if I stole your answer there because I have a feeling no. You're actually, no, joking. you didn't. Actually, I, I mean, I'm just gonna dip into the friend pool. You know, if you're gonna have Izzy on, then I would I'd always go to Brian Hudson, Marvel Cards Up. Oh and yeah. I think, yeah. And I think Ian Fisher would be a great ass too because he's, yeah, yeah, yeah. he knows where the bodies are buried. He's been around for a while. Well, will he actually tell us? He'll tell us. He'll tell us. We get good He'll ratings that week. Yeah, yeah, good. All right. All right. Well, I'm I'm um I'm immensely blessed to know you all and to be able to spend two hours with you. I've really enjoyed this. Um and I I I honestly couldn't do any of this without your support and my co-hosts. Thank you for coming on. Um, and I'd like to thank the Academy for this award. Um, I'd like to thank my parents, the cinematographer, the guy who made the tea and craft services. Um, um, see, simply because um, we've never had him on the podcast. Um, I'm going to pick on, I'm going to pick on Pete to say, enjoy collecting for episode 200. Um, because quite frankly, you, you always listen and you're very supportive and I really appreciate it. So. All right. Well, everyone enjoy collecting. There we go. 200 well, episodes. Set. Right. Congratulations. Right. Yes. Oh, Congratulations. Yeah. 201. A lot of work. That's a lot of work that got to this point. Congratulations. It is a lot of work. Yeah.